therapy. What you need is a way out of dark places when Jack sends you there. Top 10 dark TV series you must watch. With the rise of the streaming services, binging TV series has been a regular norm in our lives for quite a few years. Everyone has different tastes and likings. Since there are so many TV shows out there and so many more keep getting added, it's really tough to pick the best of them. But today, I've picked up 10 of my favorite dark adult-oriented TV shows. I think everyone should watch them. Even in this restricted category, I've picked shows that span across different genres. And before you say it, no, I've not added the cliches like Game of Thrones and Breaking Bad. Here are 10 of my personal favorites. Hannibal. God forbid we become friendly. I don't find you that interesting. You will. Mads Mikkelsen for me is one of the best actors in the industry. He has got style, charisma, and gravitas. None of us would have thought that someone could have done justice to Hannibal the Cannibal after what Anthony Hopkins did with the character. But Mickelson is a complete madman. His portrayal of Hannibal throughout the three seasons was brilliant. He made the series so intriguing and even quite scary at times. Lawrence Fishburne and Hugh Dancy provided great support as they played the lawman trying to catch Hannibal Lecter in this gritty drama. The Boys. My name's Butcher. Billy Butcher. From a gritty and kinda gory series, I'm going to take you to an extremely action-packed and highly graphic satire on superheroes. The Boys has become Amazon Prime's biggest TV series. It has delivered some great quality content over the last two seasons. Performances from the likes of Laz Alonzo, Jack Quaid, Tomer Capon, Anthony Starr, and Aaron Moriarty have been top-notch. But the guy who makes this series extremely lovable, with his constant swearing, great acting, and total badassery is Carl Urban. His character Butcher totally lives up to his name. I personally can't wait for the third season of the series coming out next year. Vikings. We have built a new boat, and with this boat for the first time, we can go west. Creator Michael Hurst deserves a huge round of applause for the work that he puts in on Vikings. Series veterans like Travis Fimmel and Catherine Winnick made it extremely intriguing with their characters, Ragnar Lothbrok and Lagartha. Clive Standen's Rolo and Gustav Skarsgård Floki deserve an equal amount of credit. And the next generation characters like Bjorn Ironside, Ube, and Ivar the Boneless took the baton forward in the greatest way possible. If you love hardcore ancient battles, if you're a fan of great intense acting and cinematography, and if you want to be thrilled with six seasons worth of storytelling, then Vikings is the show for you. Unlike Game of Thrones, this series would not disappoint with its final season. Daredevil. Superhero fandom has been angered quite a few times, but fans were the most enraged when Netflix canceled Daredevil after its third season. It proved to be such a gem in the superhero genre. The show was full of great practical action, amazing character development, and acting. Charlie Cox delivered an extremely remarkable performance as Matt Murdock. Besides him, we had Vincent D'Onofrio delivering his masterful take on Kingpin. John Bernthal got his epic start as the Punisher from this series and supporting characters like Karen Page and Foggy Nelson were also great. It was just sad to see the series being cancelled after delivering its best season. Kevin Feige has brought Charlie Cox into the MCU. Now it will be interesting to see what he does with Daredevil. Mindhunter Men like me. Murderers with multiple victims. To better understand why you do what you do. This is a Netflix series that takes a deep dive into the psyche of real-life serial killers. Mind you, this one in particular is extremely dark, but it's even more intriguing as it is based on real-world events. We get to know the change in tactics that the FBI employed in order to catch serial killers, so you've certainly got to check it out if you haven't already. Rick and Morty What are you doing? I'm being triumphantly brave! It's not triumphant or brave. Moving on from Mindhunter, I'm going to take you to a mind-blasting animated sci-fi sitcom. Rick and Morty have clearly been inspired by Back to the Future's Doc and Marty. The four seasons of the show take us on a crazy ride through the multiverse. This series might either come off as too nonsensical, or it could turn out to be way too intellectual. However you may interpret the adventures of Rick and Morty, I guarantee that you'd be entertained throughout. Hopefully season 5 will not take a lot of time in its making. Dark Gestern, heute Morgen folgen ich auf Monday season in einem ewigen... I'm talking about dark TV shows, so I'd certainly mention the German Netflix original called Dark. It plays with the concept of conventional time travel in a way that's going to make you think constantly. You'd really have to pause and make sense of the family tree that is explored throughout the three seasons of Dark. 
Besides time travel, the series explores other sci-fi elements like alternate universes. It takes place in the small German town of Winden, and it will continuously throw twists that are going to shock you to the core. I love the fact that it totally lives up to its title. The characters are all very well cast and well played. The series creators and writers did a remarkable job by ending this one at season 3. That way, the show didn't get dragged for too long, and it was able to deliver a satisfying end that totally did not disappoint. True Detective You're a bad man. The world needs bad men. HBO's True Detective tells us three slow and gritty murder mysteries. The first season features great actors like Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson. They totally act their asses off, playing two detectives looking for a serial killer. Season 2 featured Colin Farrell, Taylor Kitts, Rachel McAdams, and Vince Vaughn. And Season 3 stars the two-time Oscar winner, Mahershala Ali. All three seasons of the show were totally gripping and rewarding. You just have to make time and watch all of them. BoJack Horseman I'm responsible for my own happiness. I can't even be responsible for my own breakfast. Who says animated shows aren't meant for adults? They totally are, and you've got to add BoJack Horseman to your list. It takes you to some extremely dark places while telling you the story of literal Horseman, who used to be an acclaimed sitcom actor in his younger days. You're going to love this weird world of humans and walking, talking animal people. It's a satire that paints an interesting picture of Hollywood. Fargo. If that was me. <laughs> I would have killed that man. This is a dark comedy series that tells four different stories through its four seasons. It is a must-watch because it will not only surprise you, but also make you laugh. Martin Freeman, Billy Bob Thornton, Patrick Wilson, David Thwellis, and Evan McGregor star in the one season each, and they totally knock it out of the park. This is where my list of top 10 TV shows comes to an end. I'm going to leave you with a few other names like Narcos, The Last Kingdom, and Westview. Do watch them as well, and tell me which one of the aforementioned series are amongst your favorites. Also make sure that you like and follow us on Facebook, and subscribe to us on YouTube for more exclusive content. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.